Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and I'm Maya the Simmer. Today we have an episode of our 100 baby challenge. We have little Ambrose over here being cute as ever on the potty. He looks so cute. Last episode, we got toddlers. We have our twins. We have Ambrose and where's Aurora? Oh, she's over here about to make a mess. Because wouldn't that just be Aurora? Like she was a terror as a baby. Of course, she's gonna go make a mess. Is she going all the way outside to do this? I just want to see her. She doesn't even know how to get up the steps and yet she's climbing down our steps. So we're going to have to bring her back up just to make a mess. She's supposed to be watching her brother, by the way. That's what I queued up for her was to her, for her to watch her brother. Instead, no. She's in the rain. I just want to follow her. Look at her. At least she's getting her movement up. So uh, what we've been doing uh, off camera is really nothing. We ended the episode at like two in the morning or one in the morning. On Saturday so it's been a few hours the kids have been working on some skills uh, she's already level 2 imagination level 1 movement and level 1 potty because she was supposed to be watching Ambrose that's what she was doing and yet here we are her just acting up making a mess look at this she's having a grand old time she's moving so fast like are you are you proud of yourself look at her a terror a terror and she's gonna use her potty at least it's working on her imagination um don't go to sleep yet because come discipline her oh this should be a fun episode you all look at her she's so freaking gross what's wrong with her yeah come yell at her for making a mess and then she keeps wanting to use her diaper so let's go in here and potty train her i really want to get the potty train skill down because that one is the hardest so we'll potty train her after. Oh, and look at him. I didn't even tell him to do this. Little Ambrose, he's just so good. Look at him. Oh, I didn't even tell him to stack. He's such a good little baby. And then you have his sister, who's lovely. We'll have him keep working on this then, since he's already decided he wants to work on his movement. I'm not mad at that. So if you don't know with the 100 baby, you have to get all of the toddler skills to level three. So that's communication, imagination, movement, potty, and thinking in order to move them up in age and make them a child. So that's what we're gonna focus on this episode. Also, I realize we don't have a tub to bathe them, but luckily with Snowy Escape, we got the update to bathe in the sink because we are broke and we need to start paying back the loan like now because I don't want to wait last minute to do it. Also, what what are, what are trimester are you in? She is almost giving birth. Jesus, I didn't even know she was about to give birth. And it's talk like the pirate day. Please don't be annoying. But you know, if we do this, she'll get some aspiration points. So we will do this holiday. She's going to pee herself <laughs> uh, and she needs like at least a nap. So get some 40 winks, I guess while we wait for the baby to come. She carries her babies a long time. Also, with the toddlers and me waiting last episode to age them up, someone commented that I need to keep track of when they're born because that's when you'll get the notification for them to age up. So now I know that's why it was so late. And she starts the episode off with an accident. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And you gave bad potty guidance. Take a shower. Oh, actually, actually. No, we want to get this pirate day thing. So let's, what is it? Contemplate the waves. I don't know what's the difference. You little girl, you're a little hungry, but you can work on your stacking. And then Ambrose, you can work on your communication. Just keep babbling to this little thing right here. As you can see, I gave them toddler beds. And if you look at our money, we're pretty broke from it. I did move the baby room into this little closet area off of her room like I said I would um, just because it will be easier when the baby comes. Oh, and she's passing out naked. This is a lovely start to the episode. She didn't even fully shower. She got out the shower and passed out. Just go to sleep. And I really hope her crab medicine comes because we need to get the relationship going with Akira. Yeah, nothing has been delivered. Don't know what the deal is. All right, there's a little food left. Ooh, Brent made a bad grilled cheese that we can give the kids. And there's samosas left. 
So we'll have her cook when she gets up. She's not gonna have time for a shower, so cook some grub. We'll make fruit salad for the kids and we'll do a party size for them. That should hold them over for a little bit. Ambrose, where are you going? Oh, you're going to watch her? Is that gonna help with your thinking? He's like willingly working on his skills. So where are your skills at? At least you have one of everything so far. Heading on the right path. Let me open this up and get your grilled cheese out. Oh my goodness, he's willingly going to babble. Ambrose is such a cute little boy. This is the peaceful time when we only have two kids and she's over here knocked out. Oh, I couldn't reach your mailbox, but good luck getting it in. Oh, you can't reach it? That's fine by me. But at least that means something is delivered. Where's your food? Girl, where are you gonna go put the food? Icky from eating gross food. She didn't want to eat it. She's so bad. Eat your food. This one too. They're like, yuck. Girl, they are so rude. Also, I did change their last name to Hecking. I forgot to do it last episode, but he's now Ambrose Hecking and she's Aurora Hecking like they're supposed to be. You're going to eat what's cooked for you. I don't know how you were raised, but well, the way I was raised... You eat whatever served. I don't know who you think you are, Ambrose. Level two already, Ambrose, yeah. She's so mad, like that was the grossest food ever, mama. Like, okay, Aurora. After we're gonna send them to bed, I don't feel like dealing with tired toddlers. And we'll work on skills when they get up. Let's put this away before I forget. All right, there you go. Turn on the TV for them. You, my love, you just go to sleep. Go ahead, go to sleep. The kids will be fine down here. I guess she can watch the TV until she passes out. It would get her the skill up. I'm not opposed to toddlers passing out this challenge. We're getting to level three on some skills by any means necessary. This is cute though. I like their like their their house. I like that it's like a city house. So it's not, I don't know. It's cute to me. It's little, but it's cute. <laughs> this is a mood. I think we, we have one ready to pass out. There she goes. Aw, she's like, I don't think she can sleep with the TV. Aw, poor little thing. Oh, and he reached level two, I think, of imagination. All right, I think it's about time you two head to bed. Enough TV. How are you doing? Oh, you're up and you're gonna go use the bathroom. Of course, we're use the bathroom. She's going to pee herself again. Come use the bathroom. Come use the bath. Jeez. Okay, good. <laughs> not another accident. I mean, she is gonna pass out, but that's fine. You never got the mail. Can you not reach your mail? Do I have to move it again? Let's see. I don't think she can reach her mailbox. Mm, right there is weird, but it, that's where it's gonna go. We'll see if we can get it now. How is there no mail? Please tell me that went into like my family inventory or something. No, where did the mail go? Oh my freaking God. I have never been so annoyed. Like, <laughs> I just want to cry. How? How? Can someone please let me know? Where would our mail go if it was in the mailbox and we didn't get it now? Because she still has crabs. She's about to drop the baby and she's feeling sad. And we need freaking medicine or we're going to give a cure of crabs. And like, I wanted to get her pregnant again. And she's passing out again. I can't. At least she got some aspiration points for doing the holiday because it's going to be a good one. I just, I can't. I can't deal with this. Like, where the hell would our shit go? Go to sleep. I mean, if we have to give him crabs, we have to give him crabs because I'm not dealing with not getting pregnant again this episode. No siree. Nope, nope, nope. And it's not in any of the kids' inventories either. So yeah, and she's just passed out here. This this poor girl, this poor, poor girl. Can we get tested? Mm, go get tested. I know you're tired and this is like big mistake, but I'm wondering if we get tested, would the, the doctors give us medicine? Even though, wait, this is the Woohoo Wellness mod that she's using to go to the doctors. Um, damn, let me check the rules. Cause can we even send them to daycare? I feel like you can send toddlers to daycare you just can't hire a nanny. Cause they don't get any skills in daycare, do they? No, I don't think they do. And she needs to, oh wait, no, they do earn skills. Hold on, hold on. Um, Can she not come home? And it's $200? Holy shit. No, no, no. And Brent, no. No, Brent, I'm not going. Oh my good, are you kidding? Getting tested is 200 simoleons. It didn't say that on the menu. The kids are at school and apparently you learn freaking skills at daycare. I didn't know that was a freaking thing. Like, hello? This is just turning out to be horrible. Horrible. Let me pause it. I'm gonna remember or write down the percentages they're at. So that way I can set it back to the percent with um, with UI cheats. I written all of those down and we should be good to move them back. Actually, it doesn't look like it's going up too fast. And we just lost $200. Yeah, Akira, please come over. 
Okay, she's home. And she does not have any WTDs. I knew it. I knew it was going to do that and we're down $200. I am so freaking annoyed. I am so annoyed. Uh, I we're just shit out of luck. Um, and you're not in the best mood to even talk to Akira. So I don't even know how this was going to go with him. And now I have to return all of the kids' skills to where they are because they decided to go to daycare. Because I decided to get my woohoo on this checked when it's not even a part of that. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. This was at 2%. Can I not change the percentage? I can't change the percentage, but honestly, she went up three freaking percent in her skills. Like she went from 80 to 83. So I think they only went up 3% for all of their skills. Honestly, it's not the freaking end of the world. And I have enough shit going on already in this house. So if that's my, my least of my worries, that's fine. What do you, wander around? Why do you want to wander? You know what? If you're not tired, go ahead. Oh, and you leveled up movement. How nice. What are you doing? You're just watching her? I mean, if that's helping with your thinking. How about you come over here and you stack some blocks? And how are you doing out here, love? Are you making a fool out of yourself? You don't need to check on your kids. Don't be a good mom right now. All right, we're just trying to build a relationship with Akiba a little more so we can get pregnant by him. She is so exhausted. She hasn't gotten sleep in such a long time that I'm going to send her to bed. I wanted her to talk to Akiba, but honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So just go to sleep after this. Uh, Akira is still over here, but it's not much we can do. So let's go to sleep. And look who's out here wrecking again. Aurora. It's Aurora. I think she can't help but be a Terra. I just... Oh, ooh, she reached level 3 imagination with it, though, so at least we got that. All right, you got that skill to level 3. What other skills do you need? Uh, your movement is on level 2. So let's work on that next. Just going to have her walk around the place. Oh, she's wandering out here herself already in the rain like a weirdo. How you doing, Mr. Ambrose? You're tired? All right, go to sleep. Hopefully, Samira gives birth sometime during the night so we can see her and her baby. I'm excited to see what she's having. I think there's gonna it's going to be a girl this time, but we'll see. Aurora just woke up with a nightmare. Oh, and she gone into labor. Lovely. Lovely. Um, well, we're not going to give birth now. I want her to get her needs in order before she gives birth because we have a lot to tackle today. We have to deliver this baby. We have to freaking get some more money because we don't even have a trash can I just figured out here. So yeah, I kind of need money. And she needs to clean up a little bit. And she needs to make sure there's food for the toddlers. Let me see how much food is in here for them. Okay, they still have five of these left, which should be good for today. And she's level two communication, which is great. Okay, if you're tired though, we'll send you to bed. I'm trying to hold off giving birth, but she's like, please free me from this. Oh, poor Samira, too bad. She's gonna pee herself again. Yep, there she goes, right on time. I called it. We're gonna take a shower, you know what? We're just gonna invite Akira over. Let's see if we can get like posters and stuff around the neighborhood too, in case he doesn't come over. Oh, I didn't even notice this one across the street. Oh, is she going into labor? She's having the baby without me. I said, I said, wait, another one. I'm gonna look through the comments for names. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> I was looking at my phone for the names. Hacking is the last name again. Just a different baby father. All right, let me look through the names. Ooh, I like the name Bennett. Bennett is actually my grandma's maiden name. And that name was given to me by Davika Sims. I believe she also is doing a hundred baby on her channel. And I really like the name Bennett because it's my grandma's maiden name. So we're gonna go with Bennett Hacking. <laughs> It's twins and they're twin boys. This is what I wanted. Okay, let me look for another name then. I like the name Brennan. That was given to me by Perry. Bennett and Brennan. Brennan Hecking. Nice. Oh, they couldn't give me one more. They couldn't give me one more. All right, deliver these babies. Twins. Yay. How sweet. 
Which one is this? Okay, this one is Bennett. And look, Bennett is on, on Ambrose's bed and Ambrose is like, bro, I did not ask for this. I did not ask for these siblings. It's okay. We'll move the babies upstairs. We will move the babies upstairs. All right, babies are in their bed. I just realized we probably can fit three in here because it is a nice size. There's like room in the middle for another baby. Um, okay, she's gonna feed, I believe this is Brennan crying. Yep, Brennan hacking. Brennan and Bennett. Cute. I'm happy we got twins again. So we're at four. I have to remember to change and add the number of counter to this episode. So you guys know, like, you know, where we're at with the babies. After she feeds Brennan, she's gonna come out here and look for some more posters and snow globes. I wanna invite over Akira as well. We're gonna get you up so you can come eat. We'll open this up for you. And then after you eat, what skill should we work on for you? We'll work on communication for you. Babble a ton to this little bear. And we have Bennett over here crying. I believe it's a stinky diaper. Yup, it is a stinky diaper. So you know what that means? You're gonna have to wait it out. Mama's making some money. As Samara is finishing up, I'm going to start selling the things in her inventory. We found, ooh, a $200 poster. Nice. You made back that visit already. And another $200 poster. Yes. So this last no globe she just found. It's only 10 simoleons. All right, she's going to change. I believe she's changing Bennett. Let's put this in the fridge. There we go. Little Aurora. You're tired, but you're still like not... You're in a good mood. What skill do you need? You need communication as well. And you can use movement. So let's work on some movement for you. Akira will be right over. Yes, ma'am. All right, both of them are asleep. We'll do a little quick siesta while we wait for Akira to come over. Oh, Ambrose is level three and can now talk. Yes. Yes, Ambrose. Nice. Our kids are doing awful. As long as they're not starving, the way I see it, it's fine. Bright and gay, she's in a good mood. Nope, nope, no sleep, no sleep, no sleep. You need to have this baby. Oh my goodness, look how dirty Aurora is. She is so freaking dirty. They're both so dirty, like mom, do you have to have a baby right now? Can you please clean us? We'll take care of you two afterwards. I feel so bad already, but this, this challenge is about being savage. And I'm sorry kids, you're like one of a hundred, literally. So, just mommy's doing something right now. <laughs> this challenge is so bad. Ooh, okay. We're just going to stay out here because our kids don't go in our house. Our kids are mess messy. Don't walk in our house. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to go in here. Why are you going in here? The kids stink. Literally, she gets so uncomfortable around them because they smell so bad. He's taking all our flirts, though, which, I, which I'm happy about. We can have our first kiss already. There we go. First kiss again. Akira is really cute. I'm excited for his kids. All right. If we do a first kiss, can we woohoo now? No, we can't. But we can sit and chat here. So let's sit and chat here because my kids down here are really messy. Did you not finish your food? I'm putting that in there. They're just sitting there. Go to sleep since you're so tired. And you love. You just stink. You're not even tired. What skill can you be working on though when, when they go up there? You still need your movement. So how about you stack some? We'll get you a bath. All right, laying on the charm. Every single one of our kids are bad. Every single one of them. All for him a rose. I'm just like completely tuning out the kids. Sorry if they're loud. Can we woohoo now? Why can't we woohoo him with him? I feel like their romance is way enough. Rom and he's romantic too, just like us. Kiss his neck, I don't freaking know. Okay, we can woohoo, so okay, now woohoo. We got it. There we go, getting our woohoo on, right on time. Oh, and she's gonna pass out, just on time. No protection was used. I'm sorry, Akira, I'm so sorry that you had to just be here in this house and deal with this and get crabs from this girl, but it's a challenge. Hopefully she's pregnant. Akira's still here asleep though. So that's good. She's gonna pass out before she takes care of her kids. We're going downstairs because they're too freaking loud. I don't have time for them. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our pregnancy test. Brennan seems to be a little better now. Oh, look at Ambrose, stinky as ever, but working. That's good for you. Love that for you. Is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Oh my goodness, she's not freaking pregnant. She needs to use the potty though. So hurry up and use this. And before you pass out one more freaking time. Oh, tell me he didn't leave. 
I think he left. Did he leave, Akira? Oh no, he's not. He's here. You know what? We're gonna try the shower. I'm not going back upstairs with those babies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. So let's woohoo in the shower. Let's see if that one works. Yeah, okay. First woohoo in the shower. Please be pregnant, Samira. Brent, no, you need to come over here so we can break it off with you. All right, let's see if she's pregnant. Oh my goodness, she's not pregnant again? He's always gonna be here. We need to take care of our babies though. We really need to take care of the boys. All right, give him his kiss. Make sure he doesn't leave, yada, yada, yada. You, you're extremely tired. And you're level four, three movement now, so go to sleep. Yeah, okay. You have three in movement, Ambrose. Three in communication, two in imagination. We need to get potty and thinking up. You, my love, are three in only imagination. You're almost three in movement and almost three in communication, though. Which is really good. You're not that sleepy, so how about you come up, get up and babble to this little bear. Fail to conceive. She's sad from that one. And Aurora's level three, nice. Oh my goodness, these babies are always crying. Okay, rocking seemed to help, who is this, Brennan? Bennett cried himself to sleep. Let me see how much aspiration points she has. She can get a moodlet solver. Or no, we can just get a sleep replacement. Let's get a sleep replacement. Ask him about fertility. I forgot about woohoo wellness. How is your, your fertility? Can you get people pregnant? I imagine I'm normal in that regard. I'm not aware of any issues with my fertility. Okay, so you can get people pregnant. All right, so let's try this again with you. Why are you woohooing while you're drinking your... If we lose the sleep replacement, I think I'm gonna fight you. So annoying. And you learned how to walk perfect. We could have been freaking busking and getting so much money because there's so many people here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, and Brennan is crying. No protection was used. Are you pregnant this time? Is she pregnant? Are you pregnant? Yes, eating for two, freaking finally. Okay, break it off with Akira. Third baby daddy done and over with. You are a hard one, ask to be just friends. She finished her sleep replacement finally. We need to make some food. Oh wait, this baby's crying. Brennan is crying. What is wrong, Brennan? Oh, you need a diaper. I did all that rushing for what? I guess we'll change your diaper. Good. Everything is returning to normal slowly. Samira is pregnant. She still has crabs, yes. But Brennan and Bennett are fine. The A twins, Ambrose, I <laughs> keep calling them the A twins. <laughs> Ambrose and Aurora are just stinky. We're making them food to last. Someone gave me that, also gave me that tip to stack up food in your house for kids. But yeah, we got four kids pregnant with our next one, doing okay this episode. Even though you should be cleaning up your kids, but I'll let you eat, you are starving. You're tired, so how about you just do a nap? Oh wait, nope, your mom I think is coming to clean you. She is, all right, good. Good girl. She said, I'll sacrifice eating right now for them. Yeah, they needed this bath this whole episode. I feel so bad for them. Aurora and Ambrose, no way to treat our first, but I am struggling, okay? And we have no bath to bathe you. Why do you keep putting her down? Can you not clean her in here? What the heck? Oh, and the babies are crying. <laughs> Having them upstairs, I forget all about them. Uh, so they probably need to feed, so let's feed Benin, Benin, Brennan and Bennett. Oh, he's gonna pass out too. Hopefully he eats before then. I don't know how to help you. And they I can't clean them in the sink. They just won't let me. So come up here and feed these babies, please. These kids freaking stink. And we have no bath to bathe them in. And the sink is... Oh, wait. Let's try the kitchen sink. Maybe the kitchen sink will work better. Okay, these babies aren't hungry because I'm feeding them and they're still crying. So they probably just want attention, which annoys me because I came all the way up here just to give you attention. For what? What was the reason? What did I gain? What did I win? And like Samira still didn't freaking eat. Like she's still starving. These kids. Okay. You're good, little Bennett. Brennan, how about you? All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good. All right. Let's see if we can freaking bathe these kids in the sink. It's it gonna work. Clean up. Aurora. She really needs a bath. Please do that for her. Like, look how stinky these kids are. Like, I feel so bad for them. <laughs> look at them. They've been stinking this whole episode. And we have no bath to do it. I'm hoping that the sink in the kitchen works better than the bathroom. And I want to see, too, how much this really brings up her hygiene. We might have to do it a few times, which is fine by me. Let's see. 
that's all you do to clean them clean up aurora we're gonna keep doing that clean her up what that was cleaning her oh it did it just a little bit look at these needs it brings up her okay we have to get a bath there's no way we're doing that open this up so she can at least eat before she gets taken away oh look at those needs would you look at that would you look at that and the babies are freaking crying again someone save me someone save me from the shackles that are a, that is a hundred baby hundred baby is prison hundred baby is awful like this is like nothing seems like it can get under control and it's three in the morning my kids stink my kids have terrible needs they're doing awful why are you throwing a tantrum where is your food are you didn't get the food you didn't get the food oh you, you decided to put down the mac and cheese you did grab it just decided to put it down okay awful 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 please eat before you're taken away she's why isn't she eating why oh my goodness she's not eating she's going to get taken away oh my god i'm gonna cry i can't i can't take care of the babies please and then this one is passing out she's going to get taken away we are losing our firstborn we're going to lose our firstborn because she just is deciding that she's more tired then hungry. They're not going to take you away if you pass out, Aurora. But they will take you away if I don't feed you. Get up and eat. Please. Like, I am begging you, Aurora, to get up and eat before you're taken away. And it's almost their birthday. I can't. We're not doing a birthday this episode. I don't know how long I'm going to last. Before the lady comes and takes you away from me, eat your food. Okay, the babies are asleep. What are you doing? You're just washing your hands. All right, let's get a bath for these kids actually we need to try to get more money to get a bath because we um don't have any money oh and the babies are crying it's a bottle gonna help you nope you didn't want a bottle you didn't want a color you didn't want anything something worked for these kids no bottle for you either okay not hungry nope not food okay brennan stop crying change his diaper before he wakes up and starts crying again and we need to get money for a bath for our kids. So we're going to come over here, look for some snow globes, grab some posters, grab a poster. Oh, look who it is. Is that Brent? I do want to break it off with Brent because I'm tired of him calling my phone. So ask to be just friends. See if that works out for you. All right, Samira, let's see. What are What is this worth? Only 65? Mm, that's trash. And the snow globe is 10. We are never going to be able to pay our loan back like this. We have another poster we can sell. And I think she's breaking it off with Brent Hacking right now. She's like, listen, it's not you, it's me. Why are you freaking out? You're kind of delayed. We already have our baby. Ooh, I love her hot weather outfit. That's cute. I actually really like that. All right, she's going to break it off with Brent. Listen, we already had your babies. They're in our house. You're not needed anymore. Thank you for your sperm. Goodbye. And that's exactly how that goes. You have to come take care of Bennett, who is crying because he probably is hungry now. All right, let me hurry up and get this bath so I can finish this episode. All right, so we finally got our freaking bath. I think because Aurora is the oldest, we'll give her her bath first. <sighs> and she needs attention too. How about, you know, she deserves a bubble bath. Give her a freaking bubble bath. She honestly looks hot in this fucking outfit, y'all. I love this outfit. I don't know where we would be in this episode if I didn't get the sleep replacement because it was going awful. And we have another baby crying. But you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I can only deal with so much. Now both of them are crying. That's great. And we have a toddler that stinks. Oh my goodness. But we finally have a bath. All episode, we've been trying to get this freaking bath. And we finally have it. Finally. All right, we're going to end the episode off here. Uh, this episode has been stressful for 90% of this episode. But there was cute little moments in between. I am having fun even though I sound completely stressed out because I am. Uh, but we are going to leave it on a high note. She is pregnant again, so we need some C names. Give me some really cute ones. And don't forget to check out Yazzie's video. Hopefully she did much better than me in this third episode. I love and appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!